and what's up guys welcome back this is the third and final video for the daydream from the Malifaux hide and seek crew in this video i'll show how to do the horns and the simple color change on the mohawk we'll start off with a bit of wet blending so we're going to need two colors for this the first one is hastor purple and then we'll take that same color and add a bit of black to get our second so we'll paint the Haster purple onto the end of the horns so that it covers about half of the length. Then we'll take our darker colour and apply it to the lower half. And while the two are still wet we'll just draw the brush up into the other colour and work the bristles back and forth to let them mix forming a rough blend between the two. I'll show that again on the other side here. You might need to do this in a couple of layers to get it opaque. Alright so for our highlights we're going to mix some of the red beige into the Haster purple and we'll use that to highlight along the edges of the horn segments. We'll just paint the tops of the horns where the light would be hitting them. And we'll do the same on the other side. I'll hit the rest of the segments now so that those edges really start to stand out. Mix in a bit more red beige and we'll keep building up our highlights. I'll sketch in some texture lines along the side here just to add a bit more detail on those flat sections. For the last few highlights we'll just use red beige by itself. So again I'm just hitting along the edges of these little ridges but I'm not painting the whole width. I'm just trying to create little points of interest where I think the light would be hitting.
So the last part is his little mohawk. We're going to start off by basing with our initial base colour, but we'll mix in some ivory to lighten it first. Alright, so just go ahead and block that in. Then we'll use some of our ivory to paint a few of the individual hairs. And then finally we'll use a light glaze of Hastor purple, drawing it over the hair to the front of the head to create a little colour transition. And here he is in all his sinister glory. Alright guys, so hopefully you found a few useful tips and tricks here that you can apply in your own work. A big thank you to my very generous patron supporters, as without your help I doubt I'd be able to continue making these videos. If you would like to help support the creation of these videos, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box below and signing up to my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Patrons get various benefits including early access to videos, the chance to have their models included in my critique series, PDF guides and much more. If you can't afford it or you simply don't want to, you can still help the channel out by liking and sharing the video or by visiting the affiliate links in the description box below. Thanks again. Bye for now.